What up, everybody? Welcome back to Pro Publications YouTube channel. This channel talk about zines, DIY culture. Basically, if you're into print media, uh, you might want to consider subscribing to the channel. And if you want to help your boy, I'll go ahead and like the video. Uh, today, I just been working on the next issue of Feral Comics. I'm really amped. I've uh, been in conversations with a lot of artists that I, I've been digging, and I can't wait to work with. I can't wait to publish their stuff. I can't wait to for the subscribers of the Feral Comics project. I can't wait for you guys to check them out as well. Uh, that's what this project is about. A lot of it is about me trying to build and work with cartoonists that I like, trying to uh, create this alternative comics brand and movement. And uh, that's where I'm at, man. And one of the things that I found uh, very empowering today, which I've seen this trick before, so it's not like something I just created, but I've seen it and I've never tried it. But the more I thought about it, the more I realized it made more sense. So let me tell you guys real quick what that is. So here it is. This is kind of what I ended up falling on. So I'm using post-its now to kind of work on the layouts and kind of figure out the story and just kind of, uh, yeah, just figure out the layouts. And what I like about this, which I've never, like I said, this is something that I just started doing today. And what I like about it is like, so originally when I drew it, this is how I drew it. But as I began to look at it, I feel like it should actually be different and it should be all the goons staring at the character and then you kind of pan out right and you look at that and then a close-up of the character boom and then these two here Right? Like that. Him throwing the first punch. And then the next one should be a splash page of uh, one of the goons uh, being smashed to death. Right? Something real big and gruesome. And I, I like this. This is the reason why I like the posters because usually I would do the, the rough sketches and the layouts. On the whole pages and I would do them real loosely with Sharpie the way you see it right here right so it'd be like this and it'd just be me trying to put together a concept but if I didn't like that layout if I decided to change it I would redo the whole page and like this certain panels I can pull out I can add them right and as I progressed what I thought about was that so then I can write in there right so then I can be like uh, panel one, page one, panel two, page one, panel three, page one, panel four, page one, you know, and then be like splash page, page two, and so on and so forth. And so I just feel like this is going to be more interactive and it's going to be simpler and easier for me to move it around as the story begins to actually formulate and become more concrete. So I'm really amped about this. I think. I think, uh, yeah, for the next couple of stories, I'm going to go ahead and try this system on and see how that works for me. And like I said, I, I'm really digging it. Um, what do you guys think? Any cartoonists out there watching this, if you guys uh, use this post-it system that I've seen other cartoonists use, let me know what you guys think. Another thing that I really am happy about this is that a lot of times I have more ideas than I'm able to make, right? Like in that idea of like, in that thought of like, I'm working on uh, one story, but then I'm also working on that goon story that I was telling you guys about. But then I also have another story where Trump and Obama uh, in the future end up doing a pay-per-view fight. So like, you know what I mean? So like, I my mind works faster than my hands can work. And with that being said, I also think that this post-it system might actually help me, uh, you know, just kind of put down the raw idea for me to later on elaborate and work on. You know, as opposed to kind of what I've done before where I'll write it out. But I feel like when I see it visually, and especially like Kai was talking about how I can I can change uh, the layouts and I can, I can actually write down, this is a splash page, this is, you know what I mean? I feel like that will help me make it more concrete than just a sentence or two sentences because the story is not literally laid out. And when I get back to it, Sometimes I always feel kind of like, well, what was I thinking? What was I trying to say? What was I trying to get into? You know, what was the premise? And like, usually 
like I have a story called Death by Diarrhea, and it literally just says Death by Diarrhea, vegan terrorist, you know, uh, you know, ultimately doing acts of terrorism by poisoning food in fast food places, right? And that's it. But then, like, there's nothing beyond that. Where I remember when I had that idea, I had characters in my head and things like that, and I, I didn't scribble any of that down. You know what I mean? So I feel in this way, I will lose a lot less in in uh, translation. You know, so I'm at, so we'll see how that works for me, man. Uh, beyond that, man, thanks so much for subscribing. Thanks so much for watching the video. Thanks so much for liking. I will see you guys tomorrow. Late.